Coming up this week on the Double T Insider, it was senior day for the Lady Raider tennis team as they recognized three seniors and their careers here at Texas Tech. Also, Red Raider football is officially on the practice field for the first time in the Cliff Kingsbury era. We bring you the first spring football report of the season. And we put a wrap on the state of the Red Raider Nation series with Texas Tech Athletic Director Kirby Hocutt as he looks forward to improvements coming to Texas Tech. That and more coming up next on the show, so sit back and get ready because the Double T Insider starts right now. Let's go! The Double T Insider is brought to you by the College of Media and Communication and is entirely produced by students of the college. Welcome into a brand new edition of the Double T Insider, everyone. I'm Joshua Cook, joined by Erica Taylor, as this week we come to you from the McLeod Tennis Center with all brand new access into Texas Tech Athletics. And we start off with our first story that took place right here on the courts. Here's a recap of the special senior day for three Lady Raiders. Record! If there's one word to describe the seniors on the Lady Raider tennis team, you may have to choose between four. Driven, determined, passion, and goofy even. But the one word you can't leave out is champion. In 2012, Elizabeth Ulithorn, Sandra Dinka, and Caroline Stark helped the program gain its first Big 12 title in school history. And as their careers nears a close, the time spent together will be well remembered. It's been a great ride with two great people <laughs> by my side, so... Um, yeah, I, I think I can speak for all of us when I say that we're so lucky to be like, not just have each other, but like Todd and DC and the girls that we've gone through this whole thing with. It's just been an overall like amazing experience and I don't know, I just like, I don't know, I just feel so proud similar. to be from Texas Tech, you know, no, like, like so mm -hmm. we bleed red. It's such a huge opportunity too, like just from everything that we get academically, on the court, off the court, like with the team and just all the resources we have, it's been uh, such a blessing. The Lady Raiders held Senior Day at the McLeod Tennis Center where the trio was honored. They were a part of head coach Todd Petty's first recruiting class and since 2009, Texas Tech women's tennis have gone 48 and 26, their most successful run since winning 49 matches back in the 80s. I don't know if I'll have a more special of a group just because they were my first and they've been through the ups and downs with me and, and really they're the they're the culture of this program and they're the ones that have really done the 180 switch so uh, I couldn't be prouder of this group and, and they're just such good young ladies and, and uh, represent us so well and, and uh, it's going to be sad to see them go for sure. I think it was pretty, I felt pretty emotional and I think it showed a little bit in the play at the start but then found my feet in it. Yeah, I, I was definitely more emotional at the beginning than I expected to be because we're not even close yeah. to the, like being at the end of the season so I figured it wouldn't really feel like senior day but once they were kind of announcing our names and we got our plaques it all kind of felt surreal <laughs> um, and it was, it was a little emotional so I'm glad it's not our last match though. I, I mean I, it was, I was emotional from the very beginning of the day just thinking about the fact that next year there's going to be three other people in our spots. Oh stop. Um, but, yeah, no, it's just been such a good journey. Last year's conference title was a great milestone for Tech women's tennis, and the seniors are looking to help their program get another crown in 2013. It's nice that you sell something and, and, uh, and you see it come true and, and that they got everything out of their experience that, you know, we, we laid out there for them. But, you know, that's, that was their doing for sure. I mean, they had to make that uh, happen and, and they had to make that commitment to change the face of this program and, and they did and so they're, they're really uh, responsible for their own good fortune there 100 percent. I mean for me because it's like our our last two row we want to make it the best one so it's I know it's hard to top last year but because um, it was an awesome season but there are still a lot of um, goals that we want to accomplish and this is the year for us. Yeah. So. And I think 
like we've never dreamed in the first few years we would have never dreamed about hosting NCAAs or anything like that and now we're talking about it and it's like so achievable it's like the right fact there that so we're even yeah talking about it is I think amazing it just shows how far we've come together it really is a dream come true Red Raider fans, I'm sure you can't wait for this season of football to start. However, spring practice is underway and the players are fired up. Here's some scenes from this week's practice. Coaches bring a new energy, new scheme, and just we're excited to get the new stuff, you know, to learn it and get out here and try it. So everybody seems to be, you know, just interested in what's going on. Yeah, it was fun to get out here. It was fun to see the enthusiasm, and they flew around pretty good. It's a long way to go, but uh, they seemed excited, and I felt the effort was decent. I thought we showed some really good signs out there. You know, obviously there's a lot of room to improve. Um, it's going to be a day-to-day -day process, learning everything and, you know, getting comfortable with it, but I thought it was a solid first day. It's fun you know, to get out here and actually get to do stuff on the field rather than just watch them work out in the weight room. It's something for a lot of us, it's a long time coming to work out. I think the office ran 50 plays at us in one period, and 60 doing individuals. So that was the, that was the first thing that I noticed. We're going to be playing a lot faster. Until they get out here in our tempo and our pace that we go, you know, you can't really prepare for it. But it was more the mental stuff than anything. We wanted to get out here and actually be able to execute some plays. Um, and I, I think it paid off. It seemed like they had a decent grasp of what we are trying to do. Things are a lot faster, you know. We, we execute a lot faster than we did last year. And we practiced a whole lot faster than we did last year. But I feel like uh, it's a lot more loose around here, you know. The coaches are young, we play music during practice and things that we didn't do last year. So it gets us kind of ready to practice and we're excited about coming to practice. We've been, uh, we've been throwing three times a week, just, uh, you know, no coaches out there, just getting the guys out there throwing on air and then doing a little seven on seven versus defense. So uh, it's nice to finally put that away and get out here and, uh, you know, participate in an actual team environment. Now it's become routine, you know, we just get in here with a new playbook and, you know, it's part of the system now. We get a new playbook and we go back at it. After the break, we're going on the clock with men's tennis. But first, here's the Texas Tech trivia question of the week. Texas Tech women's tennis celebrated Senior Day on Sunday with a 7-0 victory against Iowa State, which only took 93 minutes to complete for another home victory. How many home matches have the Lady Raiders won in a row? A, 18, B, 16, C, 15, or D, 12? The answer to the Double T Insider Texas Tech Trivia Question of the Week is coming up later in the show. More Double T Insider coming up after the break. Texas Tech is on the rise. Now a national research university. A growing campus steeped in tradition. Seven straight semesters of record enrollment. Wind research that's unrivaled in the world. The best trained and educated students for today's jobs. And to all this, we have just one thing to say. With pride, guns up. Welcome back to the show, everyone. Get your timer set because we go on the clock with Red Raider tennis player Jeff Bryan. Double T Insider here at the McLeod Tennis Center. We are going on the clock with Jeff Bryan, a game where I give Jeff 10 different scenarios and he has to answer them to the best of his ability all in 60 seconds. All right, Jeff, all right. I think you ready? I can do it. Okay, here we go. 60 seconds on the clock, please. Okay. If I had to eat the same food for the rest of my life, it would be? Mexican food. My biggest pet peeve is? Uh, people complaining at the airport. A celebrity I would love to have dinner with is? Jennifer Lawrence. My teammates say I am? Uh, determined. If I won the mega million lottery, the first thing I would buy is? A cruise ship. Between my cell phone, computer, and TV, I would go a whole month without? Cell phone. My first job was? Uh, working like maintenance at a country club. I would give my last dollar to? Uh, my sister. If I had superhuman powers, it would be to? Fly. My favorite cartoon character as a kid was? Batman. Awesome. All right, 19 seconds left. You beat the clock by far. Good <laughs> job. Thanks for playing. I'm Erica Taylor, and we work on the clock with Jeff Bryant.
We're back with another installment of State of the Red Raider Nation with Texas Tech Athletic Director Kirby Hokut. Here's part four. Check it out. Looking towards the future now, as you mentioned earlier, right behind us we can see the crane working on tearing down the old video board and soon there will be a new 100 foot wide by 36 foot tall high definition video board with new sound system. How exciting is that that this project that Jones AT&T Stadium has been over the past 10 years, you, you had the new east side, you had the new seating, now you kind of complete that end with a brand new video board. Well, it's, it's going to be exciting and, and one that when this season kicks off, we'll be able to look towards the north end zone of the stadium and it will uh, provide a complete fold-in experience uh, for our fans. And, you know, the new game day element that the video board is going to bring is going to be exceptional. It's going to bring so many added elements to our game day experience that our fans and our our team has never had the advantage of, of having before. In addition, the new sound system may be the most needed uh, enhancement that we will experience next year. So a new sound system, uh, the new large screen high definition video board, the, the home field elements that that will bring to the Jones AT&T atmosphere, coupled with Coach Kingsbury <laughs> and the excitement surrounding this football program is going to, you know, uh, lift up Jones AT&T Stadium to, to once again be a, uh, one of the, the best game day atmospheres in the entire country. So it'll be a little bit of Christmas in September for the fans. You get the new coach, you get the new look team, and you get the new video board all at once. I like the way you put that. <laughs> yeah. Now other projects going on around Tech, we saw the new golf facility and we got to tour that a few weeks ago and, and just a phenomenal facility. What's it like to see that facility go up for the golf team that's been nationally ranked? And finally, Lady Raider Golf got to host a tournament there two weekends ago, for the first time in four years. Well, it's a, it's a beautiful facility, and it, it was a vision that many had, but Jerry Rawls made possible with the, the Rawls Golf Course, which has been ranked as high as the, the second best college golf course in this entire country. So it's a tremendous layout, it's a tremendous golf course. And, to have the Cash Family Clubhouse and the Cash Family Team Facility are state of the art. We, we can stand side by side with anybody in the country and be very proud of the golf facilities that we have. And it, it attracts young people uh, internationally and, and obviously across this country to Texas Tech. So we're very, very proud of the golf facilities that we have and that we've been able to, to celebrate over the last year. Are there any other projects or uh things you're looking forward to maybe down the road that are target areas for um, upgrades? There's always going to be uh, areas moving forward. So Texas Tech has done a tremendous job in investing over $230 million into its athletic facilities over the last 12 years and we got to continue to to move forward and we're fortunate we're in a position that we do not have a hundred million dollar project sitting over to the side that, that is requiring our focus but we do have approximately about 30 million dollars in work that we would like to achieve over the next three to four years you know the united spirit arena is still the best basketball venue in the entire conference but it's been 12 years since we have uh, renovated the the locker rooms for men's and women's basketball and volleyball and the sports medicine facility and the strength and conditioning center over in the United Spirit Arena. We need to address that work sooner rather than later. Uh, there's some work that we hope to achieve at the uh, Fuller Track and Field Complex prior to hosting the 2014 Big 12 Conference Outdoor uh, Track Championship meet. Uh, there's locker room renovations, there's team facility, uh, there's spectator uh, uh, projects that need to be completed at the track and field complex. So that's something that uh, is a high priority uh, for us. Uh, we also want to continue to look at Jones AT&T Stadium and uh, what can we eventually do with the north end zone building. The north end zone uh, building, my goal is to repurpose the use of that space. Right now, it houses our business office, our ticket office, as well as our letter winners on football game days. And we would like to generate uh, or repurpose that space 
into some type of club experience on football Saturday. So to do that uh, is going to require some additional work on the east side of the stadium uh, to eventually move all of our administration and coaches offices here in the stadium over to the east side. And Gerald Myers and Chancellor Hans and President Bailey at the time were visionaries when we built the east side project because they went ahead and put two floor plates in uh, someday expecting all the office space for the athletic department to move over there. So we'd like to uh, couple the north end zone repurposing project with the moving of the athletic offices over to the east side of the stadium. Then we can start beginning to begin to think about what we want to do with the south end mm -hmm. of Jones AT&T Stadium, the very end that we sit in uh, here today and how we want to utilize this space and recreate this space. And, uh, you know, there are a number of other uh, projects that we have on the drawing board. An uh, uh, indoor track and field facility is something that uh, you know, we would tremendously benefit from. An indoor football training facility is something that's on the drawing board that we've talked about. And, you know, Coach Kingsbury uh, has a little different perspective on that than uh, the previous uh, head coach did. So we're going to continue to develop and explore those plans and continue to to maintain and invest in our facilities to make sure our student athletes and programs have the best in the country. Speaking about the programs that will be in these facilities over the next year, what are you most excited about? You mentioned, mentioned a few things earlier about soccer coming off their best season, volleyball off their best season, you know, men's basketball in a rebuilding period right now, but in the next year, what are you most excited about seeing from these athletic teams out on the field? We, we want to be champions in everything that we do we expect to win and you're not going to win every game but I, I believe the true mark of a champion is being the best team the best individual that you can be um, you know and, and every season is going to be different the ball is going to bounce different ways but uh, you know I, I, I want to see and we expect to see each of our programs continually continuing to progress and get better each and every day and each and every year and uh, you know, the day's going to come where all of our all of our teams are competing in NCAA postseason play, and that's our that's our goal is to get into postseason play. And to because when you get there, uh, anything can happen, and you can compete for that national championship. So we want to be the best in the conference. We want to be the best in the country, and uh, working together and helping each other, we're going to get there. Well, Kirby, we appreciate the time for you sitting down with us, and good luck in in the next year. Thank you, Josh. Appreciate you having me on. On the other side of the break, we'll have what's coming up for Texas Tech Athletics this week. But first, see what chance that gets eliminated from the Texas Tech Trivia Question of the Week. It's now time to take an answer away from the Texas Tech Trivia Question of the Week. Earlier we asked, Texas Tech Women's Tennis celebrated Senior Day on Sunday with a 7-0 victory against Iowa State, which only took 93 minutes to complete for another home victory. How many home matches have the Lady Raiders won in a row? Your options were A, 18, B, 16, C, 15, or D, 12. The answer that is not correct is C, 15. The answer to the Double T Insider Texas Tech Trivia Question of the Week is coming up later in the show. More Double T Insider coming up after the break. Texas Tech is on the rise. Now a national research university. A growing campus steeped in tradition. Seven straight semesters of record enrollment. Wind research that's unrivaled in the world the best trained and educated students for today's jobs. And to all this, we have just one thing to say. With pride, guns up. Welcome back into the Double T Insider. Here's a preview of what's ahead for Texas Tech Athletics this week. On Monday, Texas Tech Women's Golf will be in Austin to compete in the Challenge at Onion Creek. The event is scheduled to last all day Monday and Tuesday. 
The Lady Raiders are coming off their third tournament victory of the season. Red Raider Baseball heads west to Albuquerque to play in a non-conference game against New Mexico on Tuesday. First pitch is set for 4 p.m. On Friday, Red Raider Tennis plays number 24 Tulsa at the McLeod Tennis Center. First serve is set for 6 p.m. Red Raider Baseball continues their road trip on Friday as they go to Manhattan, Kansas to play Kansas State. First pitch for Friday's game is 6.30 p.m. Saturday and Sunday's games start at 2 p.m. and 1 p.m. respectively. All three games can be seen on Fox College Sports. Also on Friday, Red Raider Softball stays home at Rocky Johnson Field to play a three-game series against Kansas. Friday's game is set for 7 p.m. Saturday's game starts at 4 p.m. with the series finale on Sunday starting at noon. Lady Raider Tennis travels to Austin on Saturday to play number 38 Texas. First serve is set for 2 p.m. Texas Tech Track and Field will compete in its first outdoor meet at home in the Texas Tech Open on Saturday. Events will take place at the Fuller Track and Field Complex and are scheduled to last all day. Red Raider Tennis begins conference play as Baylor comes to the McLeod Tennis Center Sunday. First serve is set for 5 p.m. Also on Sunday, Texas Tech Men's Golf travels to College Station to compete in the two-day Aggie Invitational. Events are scheduled to last all day. And finally, here's the answer to the Texas Tech Trivia Question of the Week. Here is the answer to the Texas Tech Trivia Question of the Week. Earlier we asked, Texas Tech Women's Tennis celebrated Senior Day on Sunday with a 7-0 victory against Iowa State, which only took 93 minutes to complete for another home victory. How many home matches have the Lady Raiders won in a row? Your options are A, 18, B, 16, or D, 12. The answer is B, 16. The Lady Raiders have won 16 straight matches at the McLeod Tennis Center, which began with a 7-0 victory against UTEP on January 23, 2012. If you didn't get this week's Texas Tech Trivia Question of the Week right, be sure to check in next week once again because we will have yet another new Texas Tech Trivia Question of the Week. That's a wrap for this week's show of the Double T Insider. Thanks for watching. Also, be sure to go like our Facebook page, search for Double T Insider. Also on Twitter, at Double T Insider, and never miss another episode. For Erica Taylor, I'm Joshua Cook. Have a great week, everyone.